Hey, this is uh, Black Woman 7 here, and today I'll be talking about something that I didn't expect to make any news or any uh, videos about early on. But apparently, we do have information about what the next uh, feature season on Map's gonna be. And essentially, we're gonna have the return of GS Cup, as mentioned in Therapy. So, we just rule set's been announced, and that pretty much is the same thing. Uh, as like before from uh, other form like from VG16 like with the uh, only allowing us two restricted legendaries or ubers or whatever you want to call it from the pool of Mewtwo, Lugia you know I'm not gonna read from there I'm gonna read it from this part so so because this is a story that you guys can see uh, Mewtwo, Lugia, Holo, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia Giratina, Rishiram, Zekrom, Kyurum, Zephorm. By the way, when they mention these Pokemon, you're, you're also allowed to use their forms as well, so. So like the Kyurum White, Kyurum Black, Xerneas, Veltal, Zygarde in its form, Asma, Cosmoan. <laughs> that gives me a little chuckle. So Galio, Nala, and Necrozma, so. Basically, uh, they announced uh, GS Cup for VGC uh, 19, and pretty much, uh, uh, this is the first time the Pokemon is actually going to be doing three formats, a uh, rotational format, in, it, it puts, in which like it's going to be like it's going to evolve into the other. So like, what I mean is that you're going to see uh, this. By the way, GSS GS Cup, so good visual. Um, so this is going to be like this is going to be the Sun series. So we'll talk about this first. So, so it evolved from this. This is going to be the three, the first format. It'll start. So. And by the way, this is starting, this format starting very, very soon, at September 4th to January 7th. So, in about less, about over a week, a week and a half, people are already supposed to start playing, uh, not supposed to, but they're already going to start playing in the next VGC 19 format for this, for this. And by the way, yes, this is based off of, uh, before I forget, this is based off of Ultra Sun Ultra Sun. So let me just read from here. Um, all battles will be done on, on Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. So if you guys have begrudgingly played Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, well, you have to play it some more. So there, I said it. All Pokemon from National decks from one to eight to seven are allowed, with following exception: of course, mythical event legendaries and uh, event mods like Ash Grand and uh, Pikachu Cap are banned. So yeah. And I mentioned the Pokemon. You have to have the Lolo symbol. No duplicates, no duplicate items, low 50s, and they did increase the timer, so that's very nice of them to do. So, yeah. Now, what's the big takeaway from this is basically VGC 19 initially is going to ban Z moves, Megas, Primals, and Mega Ray. And also the Ultra Necrozma, because that's, that's pretty much one of the Uzi Crystals, so yeah. And Mega Ray is not going to learn Dragon Ascent, so that's or Ray Ray, Ray Crazy can't learn Dragon Ascent, so that's huge. Pretty much, it's uh, Pokemon just looking through it, saying, "Yeah, these Pokemon are really, really overpowered um, for like way back, even for like back then." So for this time, for within this time, people are going to let's have it like the salad back. So we're not going to have Primals. We're not going to have <laughs> Z moves. We're not gonna have Megas, and we're not gonna have other overpowered stuff like Mega Ray and Ultra Necrozma for at least a while. So, um, it's really nice that Pokemon's kind of listening to the fans or the players' base. Uh, I think I, I remember uh, Alpha Sellit. Um, I think uh, he's like the head, one of the heads for like the competitive VGC format. So, and he like was like. Uh, questioning uh, or asking like or surveying people on Twitter on whether what what would be an ideal timer what's this and that I know he was like asking questions like earlier and like not like earlier this year so yeah about what this what do they want for an ideal format and it seems like they did listen to their advice so people's advice as well so yeah so yeah the Sun the Sun series is basically gonna be like uh, None of these Pokemon allow. Uh, none of the like the recent Pokemon like like well not recent Pokemon like those mods allow to like 
Primal Groudon was really huge, and Primal Kyogre was really huge, like back in BGC 16, so that's gonna be like very interesting to see how that's developed. It's not necessarily means that they're out of the circuit completely, because we'll, as you'll see, like in the Moon series, you'll allow Z moves, and except for Ultra Necrozma, and Ultra series, they're gonna allow everything, so. So Primals or Megas and Ultra Micros and Mega Ray are allowed. So. But they still have to follow the whole two mon two legendaries or two restricted mods per thing. Per uh, team rules, so yeah. So what do I think about this? I do like the change. And I do think that uh GS Cup per uh BGC uh nineteen was very likely to be announced anyways. It was either that or some variation of BGC eighteen. So what So yeah. Um, for now, right now, I'm not so sure what will be strong in this format, but right off the bat, I'm gonna say the fact that they kind of got rid of Primal Groudon means that Kyogre and uh, Xerneas are likely gonna be like the top dogs, as well as uh, another one that I forgot to mention is Dustmane Necrozma. They didn't mention it, but with Necrozma's new forms, you could use Pretty much like the same uh, or the similar stat allocation of Soul Galio into Necrozma, and you have a really bulky steel type that's almost similar to using Metagross. And Soul Galio is just a faster Metagross, anyway, so yeah. But, but we'll just talk about that in the, when we get to show it out, so. Um, so, yeah, so the first thing is they have a plethora of bands, so. Um, yeah, so, so Sea Crystals and Mega Stones are banned as well, so no one-time nukes, no Omni Boost for, for that particular season. By the way, this is for four we for four uh, uh, months, by the way, so for this format, so just keep that in mind. And for the Moon series, uh, the Z-Move are, are not are, are back, but except for the other stuff. And then lastly, the everything's the last, so yeah. Now, regarding the format, what Pokemon to expect, what Pokemon not to expect to be popular, like early on for VGC uh, 19, um, by the way, I'm only going to be talking about in t context the Sun series, since there were people were doing some like tour battles, custom tour battles, just to get it acclimated to it. Because this is like pretty much like, you wouldn't expect to test this type of news this early. Normally you would have the announcement of the rule set sometime between or around uh, like 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 late autumn or winter, like somewhere between late October or like November, or by November you would know exactly the format. So yeah, but the fact that they got it this early means people are gonna start building as I am now. So um, so basically, what to expect? People have been saying uh, Scarf Kyogre is going to be really good now. That, uh, well, despite Kyogre losing its uh, primal orb or whatever you want to call it, you still have access to uh, Drought, I mean not Drought, but like Drizzle. So you just spam stuff like Origin Pulse, Water Spout, Skull, and Thunder, Ice Beam, and whatnot, so yeah. So basically, expect Kyogre to be like pretty much the like one of the stronger uh all restricted pokemon in this format now regarding like other pokemon like xerneas uh keep in mind just keep in mind that power xerneas is still going to be really good but i did expect people to maybe dab a little bit into some stuff like specs but i don't know whether people will do that or not so for the immediate power because i think with the advent of more stronger checks, like let's say the Ultra Beast, more faster stuff, like let's say Coco, and more things that could run Hay, like Benny. Like the thing is with Xerneas is that it's heavily pressured now by almost these mods, like oh, Necrozma, Solgaleo, Nunala, and like faster mods that could just run knockoff. So it just forces it to take two turns of power of Geomancy, or like even like Encore. And then, like, there's, like, Elego and, like, Megandil. I don't know how good they'll be. So, I'm just listing right off the top of my bed. Out of my head. Like, what Pokemon will be good, what Pokemon will be not good, but, like, what you might see around to kind of check or counter Xerneas. 
But yeah, I expect like Geomancy Xerneas to be like a thing again. To be like always prepared for. I don't think I uh, want wait Z moves. I don't think Z Geoman I don't know what Z Geomancy does, but I think it's like boosted it by plus two or something like that. Oh yeah, it Geomancy boosts everything by plus two, but um no, no, that's regular Geomancy. What is the Geomancy bit? Because Z Geomancy. Let's see. Do, 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 do. User one stage. For so basically. Okay, so I think uh, so. It just raises just one another one stage of a special attack, defense and speed. So it's. But you're pretty much stuck for like the, the two turn duration, so yeah. Um, so very likely people will likely use power, since it will it's gonna like, least lessen like uh, items restriction, so yeah. Um, so you might see like moon blast, dazzling wave, thunder, and power crown, so yeah. Now, dust necros dust main is gonna be really really interesting as well as Sogalio, since. This is pretty much what the new uh, Xerneas counters are going to be. With Dustmate Necrozma, you have a lot more defense, a lot more bulk. You have access to Photon Geyser, uh, Sunsteel Strike, and also an ability, and some recovery in the Morning Sun and Moonlight. But then again, with Kyogre running around, and more so than Groudon, like, I don't know whether you're going to be able to run that successfully. But given this thing's bulk, and the fact that this has Prism Armor, Evo might be just running like 50% fairies like Agua Berry. So, and not only that, it has some really good special moves. This is basically from Necrozma itself, so. Um, yeah, so, uh, I think this thing even has access to Trick Room as well, so. Yeah, you see that? Um, Necrozma at 157 attack is really good, if you ask me. With that type of bulk it has. 97, 127 at 109 bulk, special bulk. And with access to prism armor, which pretty much reduces all special, uh, all uh, super effective hits to seventy to seventy five percent of their power, original power. So that's gonna be huge for Necro Dust Mane Necrozma. I still think Dogalio itself is gonna be vi just as viable because full male body. Well, it's basically like a uh, pure body clone and whatnot. It's still really good because I think. Uh, Right now, people are, are running Incineroar, and uh, with the fact that you don't, you can't be damaged by or not hurt by like a Intimidate Span, that's gonna be huge as well. So they're less bulkier, but you have access to moves like Flare, flare Blitz, uh, Sun Steel Strike, which pretty much ignores the abilities. I forgot to mention that, so you can bypass Dirty and shit. So uh, you also have access to what was the other move? Does it have knockoff? Yeah, it does have knockoff. And I think it has trick room as well. So you can run trick room like so Galia as well. And you have 97 speed, so you can outspeed uh base 90 Pokemon as well. So uh with full metal body you'll be able to like ignore like uh Um you're gonna be able to ignore um like intimidate drops. So that's the niche of having so Galio as well, so being able to avoid intimidate drops from like, you know, Incineroar. I still think maybe Incineroar might have a place in this format. Despite like, you know, Kyogre being around. Like the fact that it has Fake Out and whatnot, so yeah. That's Fake Out, Intimidate, and it can actually can wall both of these guys. I do, and I know that they don't, like, they both have Earthquake and Earth Power respectively. But these guys are like, like they're gonna be like, um, so Galio and Dustmane Necrozma might have like four move slot syndrome, so yeah. Um, because you want to have Sunsteel Strike for, you know, uh, for what what's this deer, so I mean, this is just natural prey, it's a deer, and this thing's a lion, so yeah. So, um, so expect these two to be very popular, so. Um, then you have the now, which is pretty much an interesting choice, because, uh, excuse me, uh, you have a multi- Wait, I think this is basically a multi-skill clone. Um, it's basically multi-skill, by the way, so I'm not gonna like code it. So, 
Um, this might be the only thing that could actually kill a one shot Necrozma, by the way. So, but Moon Guy Speed ignores the ability. So, you're being able to ignore the ability. You also have access to Y Guard to block any. Uh... Oh, yeah, I think this also has. So, Galio has Y Guard as well. So, they so could block any spread damage from like, like Groudon, Kyogre, or Dazzling Games from Xerneas. So, yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see the, li the item choice here because I don't think you're going to run Life Orb. Um, because chances are you you want to have the Shadow Shield um, like intact in case you because you don't want to like lose something that could just that's protecting you from being dropped from what single knockoff or Shadow Ball. So yeah, um, good thing Marsh Shadow isn't allowed. <laughs> so I don't know about so yeah. Um, it is very fast as well, so it has really good coverage options like Roost, uh, Ice Beam, Moonblast, uh, I'm trying to think about them like, off my head, Psychic, so, by the way, these are Psychic type Pokemon, so, like the Necrozma, Nala, Hogalia, like, they're gonna have access to Lele's uh, Psychic Terrain, so you're gonna boost that, and that type of power as well, so, the Lele just has some new friends to, uh, abuse with these, uh, so, so Lele's gonna be like, yeah, Metagirl, sorry, but I have a new friend now, so yeah. And she's like, looking at these three, so. And then you have uh, Necrozma, or not Necrozma, but Yveltal that just ruined all those three's days, so. <laughs> um, I think Yveltal might be like a good anti-meta pick, with like, knockoff, foul play, and whatnot, so. I know like, I forgot who. Who ran Yveltal? Like, who? I know Arash Amani did, like, back in one of the national championships. I forgot the exact set. It might have been foul play. I know his hat is foul play or something like that. So. But the thing is, with Yveltal now, with, uh, it did get a nerf with Sucker Punch, but it's just as bulky with that high uh, 128 or 26 uh, uh, HP. It does have 99 speed, so it's gonna be able to, like, uh, smack shit with the. Uh, Foul play. So this guy can also take on Nunala, Solgaleo, and Necrozma. But it won't be able to deal with Xerneas as well, so... It does have access to Tailwind, so if you want to have like a speed control, you can use it. So... Um, I know you could either go with Special with Oblivion Wing and Dark Pulse or whatnot. Or you can go with a uh, physical move with like maybe like Choice Ban and uh, Choice Ban Knockoff. Boost it with a uh, Knock boosted so that you can just knock out like let's say uh so galio just one shot so you do outspeed so galio by two points so just keep in mind that in this format a lot of these pokemon are very legendaries are very close together like not kyogre is 90 uh i think uh Xerneas and Veltor are 99 they're not at no, 100 they're at 99 i think palki is 100 uh, rayquaza and uh kyurem white and the rare ones are like a 95 uh that's mean Necrozma is like 77 because it's based off of Necrozma. Um, Xerneas is a 99, Manala is 97 and 98. No, 97 and for also the Solgaleo as well. So, um, a lot of these Pokemon are very close together in speed tiers. So, if you have, so, one thing you have to keep in mind is that be prepared for having some form of speed control. What do you have Tailwind from like, Tailwind from like, you know, uh, Yvelto or like ho -Oh even. You have Trick Room from one of these guys as well. From Thus Main Necrozma, Nunala, or even the uh, Fogalio. You wanna have your Geomancy setup option for Xerneas just to sweep. Or you just wanna just spam water spots all day with your Kyogre or Drought Eruptions. Drought on. Um I'm not so sure exactly what other mods would be viable. I obviously I think like mods like Coco Top of Coco is gonna have like a field day as well because it's pretty much gonna be like the de facto uh, electric type. Given now that like you don't want to put any of these mons to sleep, you want to protect yourself from sleep. I think stuff like Amoongus will be viable, just as viable now, despite the addition of all these psychic type Pokemon. So I think Cartana can like, I think Cartana will have a good time as well. <laughs> Not Car Carrot Blast, <laughs> Cartana as well. And then maybe the, all, the rest of the top was even Lele is going to have a field day as well, so yeah. Um, I am like kind of like looking into like some teams at the moment, so... 
like, uh, I think, maybe I'll look, look at this team right here. Um, I think we have, like, uh, we pretty much, expe pretty much expect some teams similar to this. Well, not exactly, but, like, for now, early on. Like, people are gonna be testing some stuff. Um, I heard, like, uh, uh, Incineroar, Finny, and, uh, uh, what is, what's, what do you call it? Cartana is gonna be good, because Cartana has all these coverage options for these mods. And it can one-shot, like, Kyogre, like, non bulk Kyogre with, like, just no invested leaf plate, which is hilarious. So it also threatens Groudon as well, so, yeah. And then Coco also has access to Grass Knot, Dazzling Leaf, and also Fast Pawn in case you want to shut down Xerneas. But I think this time around, Coco's going to be very limited to what it can do, because it doesn't have as much offensive presence as before. And with all the, like, let's say, fake out support from it, Cinnaror, Smeargle, and whatnot, um, yeah, pretty much, like, it's gonna have, like, a more difficult time, like, dealing with those type of, those type of teams. And, like, say, so. Um, right now, I'm just, like, pretty much building out some teams at the moment, so. Um, I'm not so sure what other stuff I'm missing, but I'll, I think I'm gonna do, like, a, I'll do a, re a redux of this. Unless, like, I'm just giving a good rundown of what to expect early on for the format for like, at least the Sun series. So yeah, I'm gonna probably end it off here just on a, yeah, end on a good note. So um, for those of you who are experienced with BGC, what do you guys think of this format? Or your initial thoughts at least? Not like hot takes in it. Well then again, you guys don't make a lot of hot takes on Twitter anyway, so. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, just what are your hot takes on this? And what do you think will likely uh, be some good cores you want to try out? So, um, another thing is that I'm not so sure whether or not I'll cover VGC on the channel, but maybe I'll like do some videos here and there because I have done VGC like content early on with VGC 17, which is uh, pretty much a Digimon format uh, based on what Wolfie Glick said. So, apparently, I play Digimon, so yeah. So I'm versed in both Pokemon and Gmon apparently, so yeah. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but I will, I will make another video about like um, covering uh, all these Pokemon in detail, especially the Legends and what to expect and whatnot. So, um, so uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy and uh, and leave a like, comment, to subscribe or dislike or whatever you want to call, what you want to say. So. Um, I want just I do want to hear some uh, discussion so yeah so that's the VGC uh, 19 format so yeah.